Hey guys, it's been a while since I last made a video that wasn't a university assignment. And I've had so many ideas and I've been really excited to make them, just I haven't quite had the opportunity. Because around about the time that I uploaded my last proper video, I started stage 3. And although I was only really doing one stage 3 paper, for some reason it was super intensive with weekly assignments and then after around about half the semester it was large assignments. And I had my other stage 2s that required quite a lot of attention as well. So I was quite distracted during semester time. And then summer came and I spent most of that working or taking some much needed relaxation time and time got away. And now that we're over halfway through another semester, this time doing two stage three papers, which I guess for some reason is strangely less intensive because here I am making another video. Since we're on the topic of university, I thought I'd talk a little bit about the student experience and how well that fits with the popular view of university life. Of course, I can only really talk about my own experience, and some of that is going to be vastly different from the average students, and also about what I've perceived other people to experience. I don't know what it's like everywhere else, but at my university, the typical degree is around about three years long, with the most notable exception being engineering, which is four. I can go up for things like conjoint degrees, but I'm doing a fairly vanilla degree, with the exception of a few random history papers thrown in, and... Some semesters I've done less papers than just recommended, so my degree is naturally taking a little bit longer. I also did a year-long foundation certificate uh, to get my university entrance because I was homeschooled. So I'm pretty much a hardened veteran of undergrad by now. But less about what I'm doing and more about my expectations surrounding it. I guess being homeschooled, I really didn't go into university life with much more of an expectation than oh, it's a place you learn things. Cool. But I've suddenly acquired an idea of what popular expectations are. Something to do with parties. Staying hydrated. Going wild until you can't. Hanging out with friends. Hey, you wanna watch a movie? For sure. And joining clubs. Whoa! So now I'm a member of the drama club, the tramping club, and the Dog Appreciation Society, oh yeah! Now don't get me wrong, these are all aspects of student life that different people experience to varying degrees, but that's overlooking the important underlying reason for why everybody's there in the first place. Learning, and what it leads to. Study. There are some mythical people, and I'm not one of them, who can do minimal study, or even no study, and achieve amazing grades. But for me, the foundation certificate and stage one did involve a fair amount of study. However, there was definitely room for making friends and like consistent socialization. There was a huge jump between stage one and stage two in terms of the difficulty of the subject matter. And... That led to a few mistakes, and then, for the most part, fixing those mistakes and prioritizing study. And then there's stage three, which can probably be best described as... Hmm... Could I go to this event? Oh, both of my stage threes have an assignment due on the same day. Ah. Alright, I have three weeks to do this. Only three weeks? Lunch break. What's a break? Oh, it's 1am, but I still have so much study. Oh. Should have slept last night. No time to stop now. Essentially, I become a full-time study hermit, and perhaps sometimes I get a little bit too perfectionist in my work, but it pays off. Having said that, there is one element of my life that I think would be vastly different from the average students. I have a five-year-old, and that means that I've got an element of responsibility that's outside of the fun, outside of the friends, and outside of the study. Because I feel that home life should be exciting. I rarely study after leaving university and around about 8.30 at night when my son's asleep. And also I try to avoid weekend study as much as I possibly can. And you might say, hey, but if you've got such a huge home responsibility, 
Of course you don't spend as much time out, but I know from the occasional weekend that my son has spent away that it only really needs to be being more of a study hermit. Sure, I do go out and do fun things if I have time, but I'm usually that one person who has to leave early because sleep is good. But hey, despite the stress and the constant study, so many graduated people that I've spoken to have described university as some of the best years of their life. And I think that's because university offers a new level of independence. There's a new opportunity for self-discovery and self-expression. And it's definitely something that's important for early undergrad, before the study gets intensive. There's such a huge range of people at university, and I think they're generally pretty accepting of people as they are, and hugely supportive, and I think that leads to an atmosphere that really encourages people to just explore what it means to be themselves. So essentially, university can be hard work, and my experience has mostly been study. However, there are the fun times, and from what I've seen, a lot of the friends that you have during university can definitely last well past graduation. Whether you're considering university, going through now, or maybe you've already graduated, whatever you're doing, hopefully you found something that was helpful or entertaining or whatever about my depiction of student life. And look after yourselves, guys. Until next time, whenever that may be. Bye.